What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X and today I'm going to show you guys how to root the US variants, the Snapdragon variants of the Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge. This should be pretty simple thanks to the process outlined here on XDA by Master Jeff. Basically what you're going to want to do is grab all of these files from here. You're going to need to extract them and you'll end up with this folder here. It does say that you will need to make sure to back up everything on your phone as you may have to factory reset your phone, power down the device. Next up, we'll boot into download mode by pressing volume down home and power. It's gonna get us here to download mode. Go ahead and plug in your phone. Okay, we're gonna open up the included Odin. From this screen, of course, you'll need to press volume up to continue to download mode, so volume up. And you should see your phone here. Click on the AP mode and grab the tar file that's included. Of course, you'll need to grab the version that is for your phone. 930 will be for the standard S7. 935 is for the Edge. I have the Edge, so I'll grab this 935. Go ahead and open that. Once everything is here, we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, your phone should now reboot. So the next up, we'll need to go ahead and flash Super SU. So to do so, we're gonna Click shift, open command window here. That'll open a command window in that file. And then we'll just simply type root.bat. All right, so your phone is going to reboot itself. And once the phone is rebooted, you should have super user on the phone and you should have root for your device. So whenever I type the root.bat command, uh, you do want to make sure that USB debugging is enabled on your device. I noticed that it said there for a second that it was just waiting for device, waiting for device. Uh, in order to do that, you're going to go into your settings, scroll down to about phone, go to the build number, click on that seven times until you have enabled developer options, and then go back to developer options and go ahead and check USB debugging. Okay, once you have USB debugging checked, the root.bat script will run, and when it's finished running, it will reboot your phone and you will be rooted. Okay, so we have completed the install of root checker. We'll go ahead and open it and just verify that we do have root access. And we should be greeted with the super user permissions request, and there you have it, super user request. On the Verizon variant of the Galaxy S7 Edge, we'll go ahead and grant that. All right, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. As you can see, it's the Verizon variant of the Galaxy S7 Edge. This should work on all variants of the Galaxy S7 and Galaxy S7 Edge. Once you've rooted your phone, you're gonna notice a security notification that keeps popping up. It's not gonna go away. The only way to get that to go away is to use a package disabler. You can use Titanium Backup, or you can use an application like App Disabler. So you'll go in and find the security log agent Go ahead and disable that. That does require root, which you have now. And then you'll notice that those notifications go away. Anyways, guys, this is the quick and easy method for rooting your Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge. And as stated before, this should work on all variants. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.